So this is your portable suction. You'll notice that the canister is here. These canisters are single patient use. They get disposed of. This is not. This comes with a suction machine. So we're going to attach that right to this port. This port is closed. This is closed. The port right here would be where you would put your suction tubing or attach your suction tubing. So this has to be a completely closed system in order to create suction or vacuum. Now, if you look here at the front of this um, uh, suction uh, uh, device, you'll notice that there's an on and off switch. It's like a flipper switch. Turn it on. You can hear, obviously, that it's, the motor is running. Turn it off. The motor's not running. Now, the other one is here. There's a little guard on it, but you can see this valve. If you pull the valve all the way out, it modulates the suction so that it's lesser suction. If you push it all the way in, it would be higher suction. So if you were suctioning out somebody's oropharynx, then you would probably want it as high as possible all the way in. If you were suctioning a nasopharynx or maybe an endotracheal tube, you might want to make that suction a little bit less. Or if you are suctioning an infant, you might want to make that a little bit less as well. So now we're going to go ahead and put this together. Here's your suction um, catheter. This is called a yang cower or a tonsil tip or a rigid suction catheter. You'll notice on the handle that there's a little window or fenestration. That fenestration is going to require your thumb over that. We're going to connect this to the suction tubing. Thumb goes over that, closes the system, and creates suction. So if I turn this on, put my thumb right over the port, and then I'm going to test that on my other hand. And you can actually hear the sound, and I can actually feel the suction on the palm of my hand. So now we're going to suction. We turn our suction on. We're going to open the mouth with our cross finger technique, index thumb over index. I'm going to go in without suction. So go ahead and insert it. Okay. We're going to insert it to about the soft palate. Now I'm covering the fenestration report with my thumb. And I'm going to suction. I'm going to go from side to side. Some people like a more of a sweeping motion. Other people will do side to side. It's going to depend upon your patient and the shape of their oral pharynx. I'm going to section for no longer than 15 seconds and only on withdrawal.